Hi everybody, I'm G1 Lady with G1 Insights. This message is for Taurus. I'm going to ride to my Venus and Taurus for the month of October 13th into November 13th. Let's see what Mercury Retrograde has in store for you this season, Taurus. Let's see what's going to happen for you. Because you know what? You have been on this journey of really trying to get back to you. I just feel like you are emerging into like this whole new burst of energy. You know, you're thinking differently, you're walking differently, you know, you're climbing a ladder that you have never climbed before. And when you get to the top, sometimes it's lonely there, but it's not gonna be lonely, Taurus, if you learn to partner up with great-minded people, when you learn to accept that everything can and will work out for your divine purpose, when you realize that it is time for you to be in alignment with your purpose, more things are going to begin to open up for you. The thing here is during Mercury Retrograde, it's not really a good time to sign contracts. It's not really a good time to spend over $300. If it's not an extreme emergency, I would not suggest that. Okay, that means not even buying a car at this time. You want to wait until after Mercury retrograde, okay? Now, it's also not, I don't really recommend that people do this, but a lot of people do. And like get married during Mercury retrograde. Um, I wouldn't make any drastic decisions during Mercury retrograde. So no matter what the decision is about, whether it's about a relationship, love, family, children, money, career, I wouldn't rush to make a decision during Mercury retrograde. Any type of form of communication can be affected during Mercury retrograde. Any form of talking about wealth, um, signing contracts about wealth can be affected by Mercury retrograde. Okay, technology can also be affected during Mercury retrograde, okay? That means Wi-Fi, your devices. That means um, anything really dealing with technical issues, <laughs> okay? So be cautious this season. Um, I mean, you want to be courageous, but you also want to be kind of cautious when it comes to those things that I just mentioned, okay? Technology, money, you know, your emotions, communication. You want to be careful with those things. Mercury is going to retrograde in and out of the sign of Scorpio. And we know that Scorpios um, are very intense. They're very deep, very spiritual when they're really evolved anyway. Um, Scorpios are your um, opposite sign. And so for you, Taurus, that might actually be fruitful for you because this is the time where you might do need to go a little deep, right? So let's look at the cards and see what the universe has for you. <laughs> Ooh, la la la. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Wow. 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 Beautiful energy. That's all I have to say is wow. <laughs> okay, Taurus. So it says here to compromise. Okay. What do you need to compromise on? You know, I was just sharing with your other sister signs, Virgo and Capricorn, and letting them know the same thing. Like, this is probably not the best time to kind of force interaction or to force love or to force really anything. You know, because again, Mercury retrograde rules our communication. And if our communication in any department is jacked up, you know, it's best not to try to force it. So... If you feel like there can be a much easier way done, and maybe they're picking a harder way, try to find a way where you and this individual can kind of come to the center and come to an agreement, okay? Again, it's all about compromise. So it doesn't matter if this is in love, in your career, when it comes to your finances, try to find a compromise there, okay? Now, it do say a year from now, so I don't know whatever you guys were um, doing or thinking about pursuing, but definitely a year from now, something amazing is going to happen for you, okay? Say also within the next few months, okay, going into 2021, some amazing opportunities is going to be here for you, Taurus, amazing opportunities, career opportunities, things that... um that you always had an interest in, but just didn't, maybe you didn't know how to get started, okay? Oh, be open-minded to the things that people share with you. Take notes if you need to, okay? 
there are endings happening, Taurus, and new beginnings approaching for you, okay? The old must be released so that the new can enter. So you are definitely going about things in a much more profound way. Um, you're thinking a lot about how you can make these changes. You're allowing spirit to guide you on these changes, okay? And you're not, you know... Pay attention to how the moon's energy is affecting you this season, starting from even in the first few weeks of October, like even right before Mercury goes retrograde. Try to figure out what is it that is causing you to feel insecure or what could be possibly causing frustration? What could be making you upset? Do you need to end some relationships? Do you need to cut some people off? Do you need to rearrange your lifestyle? Do you need to start um, hanging around more business-minded people? You know, like what is it that you necessarily need to change? Like what do you need to do from now on to make sure that you're not no longer putting yourself in positions that hurt you, okay? I mean, we're going to always have obstacles and situations we have to deal with in life, right? I mean, life isn't always perfect. We have to dance with the wave of life and kind of get in where we fit in it, right? But it says here that we have to... We have to be okay with the things that are going to end, Okay? And it might be a good thing. It's always a good thing. For every door that's closed, there will always be another door that opens. So if you don't get the job that you want, if you don't get the opportunity that you want, don't worry about it. Because I feel like that is what happened to you last year, right? You got you got stuck there for some for some reason, right? And this year, as we end out, the next few months of 2020, thank goodness it's almost over, right? <laughs> so as we are ending this cycle, it is time to embrace like this grand new opportunity, this second chance to be us again, this second chance to live life to the fullest, a second chance to embrace our newness, right? It says a new opportunity is here for you. What is that new opportunity? Again, don't sign any contracts right now. Think about it. Process your thoughts. Contemplate on it. Analyze it if you need to. Because like I said, scorpionic energy is very intense and all about mysteries. We're going to ask a lot of questions. You know, be, be as inquisitive as you can be. Oh, well, no judge zone, okay? I have to be inquisitive. I have to think about everything. The ins, the outs, the pros, the cons, the good side, the bad. You know, some of you thinking about moving. Hmm. Whatever question that you was asking, though, it says no. Okay. Not right this second. It's not saying not right now. It's just saying not right this second. Okay. Because, again, you're going through this. You're emerging into something totally different. And you've never, again, you guys, you've never climbed this ladder before. This is going to be different. This is something new. You've never done this before. So this new opportunity that is coming your way within the next few months, within the next few months, and then say the next six months, that means at least by early 2021, oh, <laughs> some amazing opportunities are going to be presented to you. Between now and then, I can't, guys, listen, I was going to wait to the end of the video to say this, but when I do my November to 2021 video, oh my God, you guys do not want to miss out on what the universe has for you, honey. I'm telling you, it's going to be mind blowing, okay? But it says in the next few months, Taurus, okay? But you have to be okay with this situation ending. A lot of us, we pray for things to get better. And then things, the things that we need to be separated from, the things that needs to come to an end, we're constantly trying to hold on to it. And if we're trying, if we're always constantly trying to hold on to it, how can we be blessed with more? How can we get what is totally rightfully ours if we keep holding on to what God is definitely trying to separate us from? We have to. To separate okay separate that means anything that no longer serve you it doesn't have to be anything bad it could be that job maybe spirit doesn't want you to be an employee anymore maybe they want you to be the boss maybe they don't want you Taurus to be 
you know, just um, maybe, hello. Sorry about that, guys. So maybe they don't want you to be like the employee. Maybe they just want you to be the boss. Maybe they don't want you to just be their girlfriend. Maybe they want you to be their wife, you know? So once again, Taurus, we're dealing with this energy of compromise, okay? Be ready for that new opportunity. Don't worry how things are ending because for every door that has been closed, another one will open. And as we get to see, it does and it will open for you. So try not to stay stuck on that thought too long, okay? Whatever it is that you have been crying about, um, obsessing about, worrying about, there's going to be a huge revelation happening for you um, this season, okay? Between October 13th and November 13th, give or take a day, something amazing is going to be presented to you. So let's look in love and let's get a little deeper with this, all right? We're going to do a simple love reading for this season. Give me one second. The old must be released so that the new can enter. Are you ready for that transformation, Taurus? I am. I don't know about you guys, but I'm super excited for everything that's about to happen. All right, Taurus, here we go. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising on Venus and Taurus. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Having heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Wow, I just talked about transformations, guys. Wow, I just talked about that. Okay, taking a chance, taking a risk, being strategic, not showing your hand. You know, like, <laughs> it's saying to compromise, my love, and it's talking about endings and new beginnings. Again, this energy is coming out like take a chance, take a risk. Listen, honey. <laughs> you may feel like, mm, I'm not sure if I'm ready to move in with you yet. But you know what? Let's see how we can make this work, okay? Or um, maybe you're ready to settle down and have kids. And maybe they're, like, trying to woo you over for some reason. <laughs> That's going to be interesting, Taurus. That's going to be real interesting. I can't wait to get deeper into that. All right, so then we also have the Phoenix here. Wow, new phase, guys. I just said that. Endings and new beginnings. There's a new phase. Something new is happening for you. Something for a lot of you, this is going to happen in the next few months. Like I said, there's a huge transformation. Look at that. Evolve into the next phase. Are you getting married? Are you guys getting engaged? Are you having a baby? Is that what's coming in another year? Like, what is going on, Taurus? Really? Wow, this is nice. Hmm growth a changed mind maybe you are considering to take that person back after all maybe you are considering to actually take them up on their offer after all are you thinking about traveling somewhere over the holiday season hmm fine do the planning do the process and think about it analyze it but be careful if you're going to make a decision make sure that this is something that you really want to do compromise okay everything don't have to be your way you don't have to be so stubborn speak your heart have those heart-to-heart -heart conversations let this person know what you're really thinking and what you're really feeling no more gambling you know i just heard that for that person actually no more gambling <laughs> not dealing with the attitude i just feel like that's you look we know i'm not here to play with you you know a relationship is going to the next phase. Within the next few months, something is going to be changing. It came out right on top of within the next few months. Transformation is definitely on the horizon. Like I said, some type of grand opportunity is going to be presented to you. So for a lot of you, this is going to be in your career. For some of you, this is going to be in love. This is beautiful, Taurus. Wow, I'm so thankful. I got Taurus energy in my birth chart right now. This is beautiful, really beautiful. <laughs> oh, God, Taurus, I love you, uh, but I got to go. But before I go, I would love to have you guys as one of my subscribers. Um, it seems like you're going to be doing just fine during Mercury Retrograde. Like I said, just, you know, be cautious about people that like to talk too fast and try to convince you to sign things right away. You know, take your time. I mean, I don't really see you Earth signs having an issue with these things because you guys do um, have a very methodical way about you. Uh, you have a very methodical approach. Like, a lot of you do take your time and think and process things before you just go at it. And with this Scorpionic energy being here, um, you guys can rest assured to know that, yeah, as you are taking your time and feeling yourself and things are getting better for you, expect people to be flocking to you. Like, you know, bees on honey or something, okay? It's going to be amazing. 
But guys, subscribe to my channel. Hit that bell below. So that way, each and every time I go live or upload a video, you guys will be amongst the first to find out. If you guys have not already purchased one of my holiday candles, my website is g1insights.org. The link will be below. Follow me on social media. For every holiday candle that is purchased this holiday season, a portion of our earnings will go to a family in need, guys. And this can be for a pair of shoes, a coat, um, a bag of food. You know, we want to help a lot of families out there, guys. And our goal is at least 500 families. So we can only do that with your help. So we thank you in advance and we love you. Thank you for supporting our cause. If you want to find out more information about that, visit our website, g1insights.org. Thank you for tuning in and please share this message around the world. Bye, Taurus.